what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Don't mess with city bus drivers. An unruly passenger learned that the hard way. I'm talking about the bare knuckles hard way. Rushed up on the bus driver, the bus driver telling him to stay behind the yellow line. Bus driver was threatening to put him off the bus. We don't know why. We don't even know where this happened at. If I find out, I'll give you an update in the comments. But that's not important. What's important is the lesson learned. Well, let me give you the backstory first. The guy is being belligerent with the bus driver. He's cussing him out, threatening him, all kind of stuff. And the bus driver, hey, man, stay back, stay back, man, stay back. The bus driver get out of his seat, walks up to the dude and try to check him. The dude's still going back and forth cussing. So the bus driver turned around and the dude pushed the bus driver. What did he do that for? Bus driver turn around, ding ding, fries and shake. Drop him. Dude go down for the eight count. I mean, <laughs> fam, fam. I, it was just like, uh, it was like a, a boxing match where you go down for the eight count and you, and you come back up, but you really don't really want to get up. <laughs> I'll put a link in the description so y'all can check it out yourselves. But, and if anything happens where it, it the link doesn't work or whatever, you can just copy and paste the, the title and you, you'll see the video. It's viral. <laughs> but dude gets up and he tries to act like he wants some more, some more. And <laughs> bang! <laughs> Gave that boy a gash. I mean, leaked him. <laughs> Fam. I don't know how many more videos people need to see that has gone viral of bus drivers and other essential essential workers knocking out folks' lights. Let me tell y'all something about essential workers and people who work for minimum wage or low wage. They're some of the toughest people in the world because it takes a certain kind of mentality to deal with people, you know, to deal with all these crazy people out here in the world. You know, fast food restaurants, for example, you know, a lot of people that work at fast food restaurants <laughs> come from the hood. But it takes a certain mentality to be able to deal with these people because a lot of these people are cuckoo and Many people don't want those jobs. You know, it's been people that can't, ain't got no boxing game, they don't really want those jobs. <laughs> so, <laughs> the cat with the boxing game, okay, I, I'll take the job. I ain't worried about it. I, ain't, I, know how to handle, I know how to deal with it. So when you walk up to somebody, you just underestimating them because, you know, maybe they have a job that you think is beneath you or something like that. Hey, man, man you mess around and get your whole planet rocked. You know, you, you know, leave, leave these folks alone, fam. This ain't the, that ain't that ain't it. That's not it. Plus, all the bus drivers I know are tough. My aunt was a bus driver for forty years, and she was tough, tough, tough. I, I'm, I'm serious. Like, I really don't know a bus driver that's not tough. Cause, like I say. Not only do you have to be physically tough, you have to be mentally tough to deal with all of these different personalities. And oftentimes you're on your own, especially like think about it. Sometimes you're, you're on that bus by yourself and it's, it might be three gang members in the back or it might be one crazy dude in the back and you watching yourself, looking in the mirror every few seconds or whatever. And you got to watch, you know, like, man, it, it takes a certain amount of toughness to be a bus driver. I'm telling you. 
Take my word. So the lesson here is leave the city bus drivers alone. Essential workers are tired of being pushed around. They're not taking it anymore. They will knock your noodles. Don't say I didn't warn you. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.